Hi guys, welcome back. So we are going to get stuck right into our next project. Uh, it, I've been really enjoying doing uh, the some cross stitching and it's a good time to binge shows on Netflix and what better way to pass the time than watching those shows and working through some of these projects. So I wouldn't normally pick up a similar project straight away. I usually like to vary my projects, so it's a little strange for me to pick up another fairy, but I had so much fun doing the last one, I decided to take on a big one. I, I, I'm a little scared, and I'll tell you the story of this one, but anyways, we're going to do Mirabilia's Titania, Queen of the Fairies, because why not, right? So she might be the biggest one I've ever done. She's definitely the biggest fairy. I don't know if she's the biggest cross stitch I've ever done, but certainly feels like the most intimidating one. Uh, her finished design area is 11 by 18. But as you know, with these, there's a lot of open space, you know, uh, that is not all stitched space. So uh, the story behind this project, or this pattern in particular, I'm going to share with you. Uh, I don't necessarily ha always have a lot of stories. Usually it's just um, maybe I saw the pattern on sale, one, two, three stitch, or you know, maybe I was traveling and stopped in at a cross stitch store and happened to find it. You know, a little bit of a story with those, I guess. This one is a special story. I have owned this pattern for probably 20 years. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I, I think it's been right on 20 years. I was living in Sydney, Australia, and my uh, husband now, then boyfriend's grandmother and I had gone shopping at the mall and there was a store called Lincraft. Uh, in fact, it still has, you can sort of see the Lynn <laughs> where they hung it. They, that's how it was hanging. Uh, anyways, we went in this Lincraft store and it was the first time I had ever seen any of these. I'd never seen Mirabilia. I lived in an area that didn't really have um, cross stitch stores when I was growing up. We had like, you know, Joann's and Michael's. So I only had ever really seen Dimensions. And um, so anyways, I saw this and I thought she was absolutely beautiful. I'd never seen anything so pretty in my life. But it was a lot of money. I think, you know, it's marked out here. I don't know why it's crossed out, but I, I wanna say it was like $55. And you know, I was young, I was poor, all the money I had went into uh, traveling between the US and Australia and I just couldn't afford it. But she knew I loved cross stitching and so she bought it for me. And I never had the confidence in my stitching to take it on. I always thought it was just too much, too big, too much. You know, like, 11 by 18, that's a huge pattern, right? And I remember talking to um, someone, I'm trying to think where I even was. It was at a cross stitch store well after I moved back to the US and I mentioned that I had this and you know, I never had taken it on. In fact, it might've been where when I first started buying the little fairy kits and uh, they said, oh, you shouldn't be intimidated. All cross stitches are just one stitch at a time. Sounds great in theory, didn't seem realistic, but the more I've done and the bigger ones I've done, they're right. It's just one stitch at a time. Sometimes you have to do a hundred stitches and sometimes you have to do 2,500 stitches 
or I don't know. I've never done a stitch count per se, but you, you get what I'm saying. It doesn't matter how many stitches there are, you start with one and then you do the next one. And so anyways, after having just finished my first non-kit pixie and realizing it was not that intimidating and it was so much fun, I decided I'm gonna honor my grandma Kay, well my husband's grandma Kay, but I adopted her because she was the best. And I am finally, after 20 years, I'm gonna tackle her gracious gift for me. And uh, so that's what we have. Titania. Can you believe it? Now, I don't know. I, um, I had sort of had it in my head that I might think about starting her about six months ago. And again, I kept kicking the can, you know, and uh, anyways, uh, I, so I had taken the pattern in with me to a cross stitch store when we were traveling and they told me that they've retired this one. Uh, they can't actually order it anymore, but I have seen it online. Like I know one, two, three stitch still has some, um, you can, you can order it, but I, I don't know this one. They, I had no idea, but sh yeah, they told me that, uh, this one's not available anymore. So let me know if, if you have the details on that, because why would you retire something so beautiful? Anyways, we're gonna see. So I'm not going to do a uh, part two video like I did for Ivy, only because I know I don't have all the pieces that I need right now. And uh, so it feels a little incomplete to just pull together what I have on a video. My hope is that in Washington, we are going to have some stores opening and I can make it down to a store to pick up those last few. Uh, it's mostly the, the special stuff, you know, the, the Krynik blending threads, the Mill Hill beads, and then I have a list of about seven or eight DMCs that I need to pick up. So I'm hoping I can just work around what I don't have just in the meantime. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. Now, uh, the other thing with this one, so on the picture, they say that their example was stitched on the 32 count chestnut linen. And I don't know, I think it looks a bit dark. I don't know what you guys think. I, I, I mean, obviously she stands out on it, but I this fabric and even looking at it, it samples of it. It just seems a bit dark. So I picked something different. Uh, I, it's a little bit lighter. Same, it's that same kind of tawny fawn color. It's just a, a, a couple shades lighter. And I remember I held up uh, several of the, the primary threads from this cross stitch on here to make sure that they would stand out, especially some of the lighter ones, these yellow, you know, golds, yellows, and the lighter pinks to make sure that they, they stood out on this. But, um, and they did, they looked great. But so I chose the uh, lamb's wool linen by Witch Elt. And hopefully, same count, it's still the 32 count, so it'll be the same size and hopefully just, you know, maybe not look so dark. I don't know. There was something about the chestnut. I just didn't, I didn't love that, that color. This is, this feels more of a lighter fawn to me. Even the color on here is not showing up that great, but uh, anyway, so that's the only change that I've I'm making, you know, I know there's this big thing where a lot of people are um, taking these fairies and they're changing out the colors, you know, they're using the pattern and then changing out the color schemes on them. Some of them are stunning. Uh, I, I can't remember one of them uh, they did, I can't remember which pattern it was, but they changed out the colors for their school colors and it was 
the way they they edited it was more beautiful in my opinion than the original and uh, but this one obviously I'm I'm gonna stay uh, true to the the pattern here just changing out the the fabric so and then uh, we'll get the extra bits hopefully later this week I don't know how long she's gonna take um, let's have a look at the pattern real quick it's you know pretty standard uh, for the Mirabilia, you know, I've looked at it over 20 years, several times, but I will say that the, the print on it is m much bigger than Ivy, which uh, will be nice for just, you know, easier on the eye, but it's broken up into two pieces. So this is the top portion and then here's the bottom portion. So as you can see, some nice big blocks of colors. So that's what helps it not feel quite so tedious and intimidating, I think. And then it's nice because on each side of the sheet, we have our little icon symbol uh, list here. And then on this side too. You have it right down here. So you don't have to always flip back and forth, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, look at those wings, man. Oh, so pretty. I can't wait to see. This one, this one will be one of those that just, it me it'll mean so much to have it done. Uh, because I have looked at it, uh, in between every project for... 20 years and it'll feel weird to not have it in my to-do pile but what better time right it's not been the best year for everyone especially it's certainly not been a great year for me so to do something that has such a good memory will be uh, it'll be nice and I'm, I'm sorry to throw a second fairy on you straight away but uh, I just I, I was just feeling it so we're gonna do it uh, next we might do something different <laughs> not how long this takes this may be take the rest of the year who knows hopefully not hopefully you know maybe I don't want to jinx it I'm thinking maybe like six weeks do you think that might be ambitious anyways uh, if any of you have done this one let me know, give me your tips, tricks, things to look out for, what you liked, what you didn't like. I'd love to hear it and uh, can't wait to show her off all done for you. All right, guys, thanks for checking in and I will catch you next time.